Hey guys, I'm Aaron and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the basics of SketchUp. Today, we're going to look at cutting and pasting versus copying. So really, both of these workflows are going to end up giving the same thing, but there's a difference in how they work. Um, I figure we'll just take a look at it and you can decide which one's going to work best for you. Let's hop in. Okay, so I just made a couple of groups, just a couple hexagons that have been push pulled up, just something to look at, something to play with. Um, something to note is both of these are their separate groups. Uh, they do have some information that's different. This one's on a tag called second tag. This one's on a tag called third tag. Just because I wanted to show you what happens when you copy the two different ways. All right, so something that's kind of a default for, well, just software in general is control Z, control V, right? Cut and paste. That works in SketchUp as well. So what I can do here is with this selected, I can right click or I can go to edit and I can say copy and then I can hit paste. When I paste, what's gonna happen is the basically the lower left point is gonna show up connected to my uh, corner there or, or to my cursor. So that means as I'm bringing it in, it's always, in this case, because it wasn't raw geometry, it was actually um, a box around a group, I'm connected to that point. So if I wanted to say stack this right on top of this previous thing, um, I actually can't do it real easy because I don't have a snap point right here. Uh, what I'd have to do is kind of put it probably like that. And then when you paste, you automatically end up in move. So now I could grab it and drag it over there. So not bad, not, not a bad thing. That actually worked pretty well uh, to put that in there, but you'd see how many steps it was. So I select it, copy, paste, place, and then use move to put it where I want. Alternatively, what I can do is I can select the geometry and go straight into move. So I'm skipping the cutting and pasting. And then I'll pick where I want to copy from. So if I want to put this straight up on top, I'd grab this point right here. And as I start to move it, I'm going to hit the modifier key. So on Mac, that's option. On Windows, it's going to be the control key. And then I just click where I want to place it. So a lot less work than copying and pasting. So I can see that the copy did assume all the information of the previous one. So here is tag, second tag, second tag, third tag, third tag. So the copies get the same information no matter whether you co copy paste or uh, use the move command. The other thing, so, so that's, so if I'm just gonna grab geometry and move it or, or copy it to another spot inside of a model, I personally will defer to modify or move that copy command. There are situations where I do copy and paste or actually what I end up doing a lot of is cut and paste. So let me show you where that comes into play. So if for whatever reason, say I wanted to pull this out of here, I may go in and say cut. So the reason that I would do cut rather than just delete is if there's something going on where I'm gonna do something in modeling where I think I might want that geometry back at a later point, cutting it puts it on the clipboard. So if I cut it out and then I go in here to do some modeling some, and I go, ooh, actually, you know what? I want that back. I can come in here and I could say paste or better yet, I can click on the paste in place command. Paste in place is, is probably an underrated and maybe one of my top commands because what that's going to do is take what's on my clipboard and put it right back where it was. This is nice because one of the things that you can do with this is you can actually play with things like uh, undo where I can grab some geometry I've created, undo to back up a bunch of steps, and then bring that recreated geometry in. And that, that ends up being a little bit of an intermediate or advanced workflow, but uh, trust me, it's a good command to have in your belt, in your, in your SketchUp tool belt. Um, so that is another option. That's not something I can do with Move. Once Move is a, a, like a linear pro process, I have to grab it, copy it, put it in its new place and then I'm done. I can't like hop in and go, okay, let's keep moving that now that I've done different work. Cut and paste will allow, will allow you to do that. Something else that works in with cut and paste that's not gonna work with copy move 
is if I come in here and I say edit copy and then I say file new in this new one I can say edit paste and I can bring that geometry in I can't do that again with the copy command it's all inside a single model so basically there's a couple different options there for duplicating selected geometry the copy move is going to be nice if I'm working in a model and I want a lot of control about where I pick the one piece from and where I duplicate it to absolutely use mod modifier key on move if I'm going to use one of those other cases where I'm temporarily removing geometry and want to bring it back in that's where I'm going to use cut and paste if I want to take geometry across from one model to the next that is where I want to say copy and paste so you can see there are several different ways to copy geometry in your model and really like so many things in SketchUp there's not a simple here's the command you should use there's different ways to use it depending on your workflow in fact your workflow will probably grow to include multiple different ways of copying geometry I know I personally use my modifier key with move a lot but I also use the cut and paste in place on almost every model I do too how you use those commands is going to depend on your workflow and possibly the specific job you're working on. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week, including one of these square one videos, and you'll be notified of each and every one if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave us a comment down below. We like making these videos a lot. We like even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.